All right, this is a tutorial on how to, I believe, hack your Nordic Track treadmill or your incline trainer so that you can actually watch Netflix and other things and go on a web browser. Uh, either I accidentally was able to get into the firmware or the menu to do this, or Nordic Track has actually updated its software so this is what it boots up to now it boots up to an actual almost like a computer it's an android operating system so i have uh an alarm at 6 p.m to tell me to work out it looks like it kind of uh resets or it's trying to uh, start the the ifit application a hundred percent i guess that's it thinks there's a battery here but I, I have a, uh, a passcode. I'm going to type in the passcode. And then I actually come to this menu. Oh, well, it is a menu, but then iFit kicks in because normally iFit uh, comes up when you boot it up. So as soon as I did that, iFit automatically, uh, within I'd say one minute, iFit automatically boots. The software, it's almost as if there's a run command that when the, the Nordic Track uh, treadmill or incline trainer boots up, it automatically boots up to the uh, software. All right, so what I did was after you boot up to the software, you kind of, you see this black piece, you just kind of like scroll up and you get these things. You hit that and then I get this desktop. I mean, with all the apps. And I actually, and you can see the, the browsers there, the uh, iFit, the iFit Cardio. That's the actual thing that that boots up. Uh, and I've got Netflix right there. Here's the browser. I can go to the browser, and the browser looks like it's Chrome. And I can go to ESPN, ESPN, and I'll ESPN Home. And let's see if it works. This is amazing. I can't believe it. And there you go. That looks like it's um, looks like it's good. The incredible dunk that is blowing up the internet. I'm not sure what this is about. Let's see if this is uh, desktop mode. So I can request desktop mode, or I can leave it the way it is. Let's request desktop mode. Oh. And. So I'm not sure if this changes it. Yep, so this looks like a, uh... all right, let's go ahead and see if this works. The incredible dunk that is blowing up the internet. What I love about it, it's touch, it's touch screen. <clears throat> oh, well, maybe it doesn't work. <laughs> so, oh. Huh. So obviously it's, uh... let's go ahead and go back to not, desktop but the I guess the Android default let's try that so some of the stuff obviously it's still in um, it probably isn't going to work but if you want I guess if you wanted to read something so it looks like let me go ahead and refresh this and try it again I got Amazon. I'm not sure what's going on. All right. So um, as you can tell, there it, it leads a little bit to be desired. So let's try this again. Let's close this out. And back here. Uh, let's see. I, I actually loaded uh, Netflix. Let's, let's see if Netflix works. Oh, it does work. Isn't that amazing? I mean, look. On my treadmill, I'm getting ready to start walking. And here's Netflix. Oh, yes. Let's go to this. Uh, I wanted to start watching Lost in Space. Uh, season 1. Let's see what the quality is like. I don't think this has... Oh, wow. Let's start it over. And the quality is not the greatest, but you know what? The fact that I can use my 22-inch screen to watch Netflix is freaking amazing. <clears throat> Yep, 
and I won't play anything else because I don't want to get any copyright. If you click there, it shows all the things and you could swipe out uh, and see. If I want to go to my cardio, I can just go like that. And where's cardio? There's our iFit cardio. But it's a great thing also. Did you know that there's a camera on your device? Hey, so you finally got a chance to see me. Yep, you can take pictures. Let's take a picture, ready? Hey. Yep, so it actually takes pictures. <laughs> I'm telling you, all the stuff that's on here. So let's go ahead and click this. Let's close that out. And I actually set that wallpaper up. I can click here. And I said, uh, where's wallpaper? I think it was under settings. So here's some of the settings that you can control. Oh, freaking your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your data usage. If you have any, I guess there's Ethernet cable in here. And then you have more. Some VPN, which I'm not going to mess with. Display. <clears throat> it shows the brightness level, which I have it set all the way. See? Uh, it shows wallpaper. And you can actually see a gallery of wallpaper. And these are all the different wallpapers. I guess there's pictures, live wallpapers you can go to. These are all the different wallpapers. Let me come back. I'll be right back. Someone's knocking at the door. All right, I'm back here. So as you can see, wallpaper. You can go to live wallpaper. And let's say I want to do, and this is what I chose, black hole. But uh, let's go to wallpapers because it, it actually defaults to this wallpaper right here. And this is how I figured out, oh my God, something's up. But then you can go to the live wallpaper. I like the live wallpaper and I like the black hole. So click that. And that's the background on my Nordic Track X22i. Freaking amazing. All right. It's still uh, work in progress. Let's see if I can go back now. And then I'll come back here so you can choose what kind of wallpaper. You can sleep if you wanna, if you want it to go to sleep, but I don't want this to go to sleep. We just turn it off ourselves. You can, uh, I guess there's a clock, different clocks that you can choose. Uh, if I click clock and then settings, it says the style of clock, it's digital or analog. Let's try the analog one, okay? And let's see how, and this is what you look like. Let's see, clock. Huh. I guess I didn't save it. Let's try it again. So clock. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't want clock. I want actual settings. Settings. <clears throat> and we said display. And we said daydream. And we said clock. Oh, maybe this is a different uh, clock setting. We go to configuration. Anyway, I like digital. I'm still going through this. Very dim display for dark rooms. I just left it like that. Go back. Uh, different colors you can pick. I'm not really sure what that does. Oh, I guess it's colors for a... Uh, this could be for a screen set, a screen uh, saver, photo frame and photo table. Oh, I'm not going to mess with that. I'll let you guys look at that. This is all here. I want, again, uh, cast screen. Uh, it allows you to cast whatever's on here on a TV, but why would I want to do that? All right. <clears throat> what else? HDMI. I guess it shows the resolution. Uh, it's 1920 by 1080p all the way up there. If I, I guess if I want HDMI out, um, sound and notification. You've got the media. You got alarm. You got no, uh, notification volume interruptions. <clears throat> I'm not sure what interruptions are, but uh, events and reminders, calls. I mean, I, you might even be able to get calls. The software might. Who knows? Other sounds. Default notification ringtone. What are other sounds? Screen locking sounds, touch sounds, uh, when the device is locked, app notifications. Uh, I'm not really sure what this does. 
I guess it has all the applic applications in there and notification. Anyway, so let's go back. Uh, storage, it's telling me I've, I've used uh, a little bit over a gig of my six gigs. Looks like it has 5.93 gigs, so a little bit less than six gigs. Hmm, it's actually not bad for for the internal hard drive space. It's got some pictures, apps, it shows me everything. It shows me that uh, uh, the apps are 800 megs, pictures 5 megs, audio 60 kilobytes, so it's nothing. Download 60 something megs, cache data, miscellaneous. Looks like you can put an SD card and USB storage on this. Hmm, that's interesting. It says insert. So, you know, I might try putting external storage on here later on because there is a USB and HDMI on this. All right, what else? Battery. I guess this battery here because it shows battery charge. Maybe not. Who knows? I'd like to see if it works without it. It shows the apps. It shows some of the apps that I've downloaded here. Downloaded, running. Let's click on running. It shows me all the apps that are running at this time. My Bluetooth share, Android keyboard. Uh, the iFit uh, software to admin, what I'm doing in settings, okay? <clears throat> Location, I guess it shows, I don't know, that it's on. Uh, security, it shows a screen lock pin. I'm actually going to do away with my pin. Let me confirm it. Okay, and now I'm going to say no and let's see, let's go back, cancel. I actually don't want a pin. I don't want anything. So how do I turn it off? One second. So I actually used a pattern, <clears throat> visible lock, owner, passwords, device. Uh, again, so you guys are here, not for all this, but isn't it amazing? Location, accounts, language, backups, date and time, accessibility about this tablet. I guess it thinks it's a tablet and it talks about a uh, kernel version and the build number, but you came here for a reason. So let's go to that reason. So this is my desktop. Uh, let's go ahead and change this back to the, uh, what I liked. Uh, where was this? Uh, Wallpaper. You see wallpaper? Wallpaper is under settings. Uh, display. Wallpaper. I want to use uh, gallery. Nope, not gallery. I want to use live wallpaper. I want this. And I want to set it. Okay. Come back. And then. And then. Let's see if I can. How do I get out of here? This is okay. So there it is. So as you can see again, Netflix browser and, and an app that I downloaded. One more time, let's show you Netflix just in case. So you can see I'm not lying. It's amazing. I've got Netflix. All right, let's go ahead and put on. I don't even know what this stuff is. Uh, a really good show that I was watching. Let's see. Um, it was called Lock and Key, I think. Let's see if I could find that. Let's do a search for lock. Yep, there it is. Lock and key. Uh, welcome. And I'm going to show you that the treadmill works with this running. I don't think it's the greatest resolution, but you know what? I've got a 20. So I see it comes in a little blurry when it starts. But then as it starts, it starts picking up. And I guess as it caches, um, and look how loud it goes. Really loud. So let's go ahead and start the uh, treadmill. See what it, see. Oh, actually, let's see if the treadmill starts. Oh, you know what I just realized? The treadmill may not start. Wow. I just realized that the treadmill may not start. Let's go ahead and pick up. A, let's see this. Oh. Oh, my Lord. So you can use this for Netflix, but I'm wondering if I have to start the treadmill and then put this on. Holy moly. So let's do this. Uh, I'll be right back when I figure this out. All right, guys. So let's see what's going on. Um, come to settings. 
So it's not the iFit Admin. The iFit Admin is a program in its own, and it looks like you can recover the brain board, clear update files, clear cache, check for updates, and it shows everything there. So I don't even want to do that. What I want is iFit Cardio. So once iFit Cardio starts, then you'll see this is what you normally see when you uh, are on the uh, treadmill. So I'm wondering, now I'm wondering when all is said and done, even though it seems I may have accidentally gotten, gotten into the uh, software to uh, download Netflix and, um, and, and I have a browser, it doesn't look like this works if I have running. So it's a bummer. Uh, I'll have to go in there and do some more research. <clears throat> it looks as if the treadmill works only with the iFit. So what I'm going to do is put it on manual. And then maybe I'm going to see if I... Uh, let's go manual start. And then... Um, it's going to load a workout. Oop, as you can tell, I'm walking. I'll just leave it. I like that I have these things up here so I can bring it up. Let's bring it up to two. Okay. And the warm up. All right. Let's bring that up to two. We'll say 2.5. Two point two. All right. So now I'm walking. So now I need to see if I change this screen to Netflix or to something else. What's going to happen? What's that? That's stats. So I'm able to use this, right? Let's go a little faster. Let's go. Let's go two five. Okay. So I'm walking two point five. I can do that. I'm out of shape. But here's the deal now. Can I use this? I'm gonna swipe up and go here. Oh, okay, good. So it looks like it's still in the background. And then go to Netflix. Oh, really cool. <laughs> so as long as you start it and you got yourself a nice pace, let's see. Let's see if it goes up to three. Let's see if it goes down to one. Yeah, so as long as you have it running in the background, it'll work. Oh my Lord. I am so, so happy. So I got it at three now. And then if you wanna go back, I'm watching Netflix. You can raise it. Let's try going, uh, let's try going six degrees negative. Yep, it's going six degrees negative. Raise the volume. The fans work. I just have to run the fan on. I'm going six degrees down. Bring it back up to zero. It's being raised. And I'm walking at three miles an hour and watching Netflix. There you go. Let me take this out. And hopefully it stops. Reconnect it. See what happens. So, see if it'll start again. Nope, so you have to, oh yep, it just started again. Oh, I guess it's running in the background. And let's go up to two. Let me hit pause for a second. And I'm gonna come out for a second so you could see that the treadmill, I got a beer there, I wasn't really working out. But if I wanted to watch lock and key, which uh, I probably shouldn't be showing because I might have some, um, I don't know if it's, if it's got some uh, copyright stuff. But it's just Netflix. It's like a treadmill. It's like a, uh, like a trailer. So let's go see if I can go to movie trailers. Movie trailers. Okay. Looks like new upcoming movie trailers for 2020. Let's, actually let's go to YouTube. Let's see if I can go to YouTube. I probably have to see if I can download a YouTube. YouTube, 
There's YouTube. <clears throat> it's not the greatest speed. Let me do search. And up here I'm gonna say movie trailers. And I'm sorry that this is such a long, long video, but you know, it's, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. And, oh, 4K trailers. Uh, obviously, I, I don't think 4K will work on this. You know what? Let's click it. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. It'll probably downgrade it. Tap to unmute. We risk everything. Wow. Lower it. Uh, quality. How high? Let's go 1080p. Will that work? Speed normal. Captions off so oh, let's see if it'll let's, let's lower this let's go up to 2160p see if that works no it doesn't obviously because uh this won't support it let's go to 1440p no, that's not going to support it either. So, I guess this screen will only go up to 1080p. <clears throat> well, may not even do that. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's go see back to 1440p. Maybe it just I just need a better uh, connection. <clears throat> and this is just YouTube. Yeah, wow. Oh, my God. That's excellent quality. Wow, that is amazing quality. I guess for 1440p, uh, it, I'm going to need a... So I think this defaults to 2.4 gigahertz speed. Uh, it, it won't go on the 5 gigahertz speed. So let me... Uh, I'm just curious. Will it support? Let's see. As you can see, it's a little buggy. Let's go find him. That's amazing quality. But as you can see, it's a little buggy. So now I can't even. Yeah. So how do I? How do I? Um... Oh, there you go. So I'd probably go 720p here and then see if that works better. <clears throat> yeah, much better. Let's let's do, let's try going one up. Welcome home. 1080p. <clears throat> and full screen. Not bad, not bad. And then hit start. Uh, See if this will start again. Oh, yep, here I go. I'll set it up to three. Set it to five. 2.5, I'm walking. So it's a little, as you can see, it's, it's, um, it's buffering. So let's put this back. Let's see if it'll. I can get it back here, and then get it back to 720p. So you'll have to play with it. <clears throat> but isn't this great? I can actually walk on my treadmill while I'm watching um, trailers, and you can put them on full screen. Take advantage of this 22-inch screen. Is it the greatest quality? No. But you know what? I can actually walk on my treadmill and watch a movie, watch YouTube, read articles, ESPN, go on Netflix, and then all I gotta do is swipe up, come over here, and pick iFit Cardio, and hopefully it'll, oh, so it's a little bit buggy. So I would have to come back in here, 
Go to iFit Cardio. Actually, let's see if I can get iFit Cardio uh, on my desktop. So if you watch this, if you click on something, you hold it, it goes on the desktop. See? So let's see if I can get this running again. <clears throat> because I'm actually, so let me hit, so, so again, it's a little buggy. Let me hit stop. And so that it knows when it starts off. Let me grab some beer. This is some good beer. It's a, it's a Grosch beer with a ceramic top. Cheers to hacking this uh, iFit. Again, it's a little buggy because I don't think it's made for that, but... <clears throat> ah, resume. So let's set it to two, five. Did you know that if you hit the two numbers fast? So let's just do two, two. I'm just gonna walk. All right, so swipe up, go here, go to your browser, go to your Netflix. Let's go to Netflix. Actually, I don't want to have any copyright. So we'll go to the browser and we'll watch some trailers or anything else. Raise it. The volume is pretty good. The volume is extremely loud. Turn the fan on. When it comes to speed, wow. there's only one name. I've studied the best spin moves. His, legendary. Full screen. The fastest in the world. All right, guys. I think I've uh, been on here long enough. I'm wild. Uh, as you can but see, sorry level. for stringing you along. That I might dude, make another video later on to show you how I installed Netflix burners, and how I was able to get this working. What's this for again? Um, What's this for again? What's this for again? Not a track. If this is a uh, bug in the software, no then hey, I have to thank you. Go if it's an upgrade, I got to thank you. But I'd be uh, careful of upgrading the software. All right, guys. Let me come here. What am I doing? Uh, scroll down, let's see. Actually come here like this. Scroll up. It shows me everything that's running. Stop my browser, stop Netflix, and just go straight here. Let's see if it actually goes back in while it's work working. Nope, so it stops. And then you, let's see if I click it. <clears throat> while I'm walking see if it'll actually start I hope I don't mess it up or anything uh, I think it's out of warranty already so it's not like I avoided the warranty and you know what I didn't hack it it just it just I rebooted my system I pressed the button off and on and I got this desktop which was amazing all right let's see what happens see if it's still loading workout And hopefully it'll bring up the manual workout again. I'm not sure. Let's see. I mean, yeah. Yep, there it is. 2.2. I've uh, gone a quarter of a mile. Amazing. All right, guys. I'm about to end this. Let me go ahead and uh, pause. Stop. Saving my workout. I'm just gonna say finish. And I'm gonna turn this off and try one more time to see. I turned it off and on. And now I'm just curious to see what happens. The iFit screen comes up. <clears throat> and again, uh, I know this is 30 minutes you'll never get back, but uh, thank you for bearing with me, and, and again, I'm going to make a shorter video later on to show you what I did to uh, to enable the browser and to load some applications on on my Nordic Track X22i treadmill incline trainer. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, my apologies for taking you on a 30-minute ride, but I thought this was important, and I figured. And there's my background. My live background is an upcoming alarm at six o'clock. Swipe. Uh, I guess it's still, oh, I put in a code so you can't see the pattern. 
All right, and here we are. And as you can see, I've got the browser, I got Netflix, and I've got iFit Cardio. So if I hit iFit Cardio, it should come up. And then if you swipe up, that's how you can get, like if I swipe up while this is doing it, you see I can stop it, I can go back, or I can hit this, so I'll keep that running in the background, and then do other things, see? If I go back, I'm wondering if it'll, it'll go, I'm wondering if it's still running, and then I can bring uh, Netflix up, and uh, here comes Netflix, and here we go. And I guess Horse Girl is really good. I'll hit play. See if this works. <clears throat> Horse Girl, I heard it's a... And there it is. So I, I won't, I won't show too much of this. And then come here. Hit the one on the right. The one on the right gives you like tiles. Uh, the one in the middle stops everything. Brings you back to your screen. And this just goes back. So then I go back to iFit Cardio. And I have a feeling that iFit Cardio might... Oh, well it was loading. So let's see if it'll finish loading. And there you go. Again, I'll look for another video, uh, maybe this weekend, on how to, uh, I don't want to say hack, but for lack of a better word, how to hack your Nautic Track. Uh, I'm not really hacking it. Um, they actually, when I booted up, it gave me the option. And I was able to uh, configure it so that it would, um, it would not go automatically to the app, to this iFit app. All right, guys. You guys, take care. Thumbs up. If you like it, leave a comment below, and I'll uh, come back this weekend uh, with uh, how to hack your Nordic Track um, treadmill so that you can have a browser, Netflix, and stuff like that. See you guys later. Thanks for staying with me. Bye.